All right, so here's the finished dish. Uh, potato, as we said, potato with the pork belly. Starting with a potato. Okay. Potato is great at absorbing those, uh, all the flavors. And of course, look at the pork belly. Mm -hmm. Just falling apart. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fall apart again. Look at the pork belly just <laughs> falling apart. And um, I'm going to try and pick it up as mm. one piece because I want to get those fat pieces. Okay, I'm going to put the them. fat is here is Yeah. It's just like butter. Just melt in your mouth. The meat has absorbed all that mm. seasoning. Those stews really get the oil out as mm. much, so it's not as... This. It's buttery. It's not oily or greasy. But it's... Uh, anyway, it's delightful. And people tell you that's not good for you. I don't believe them. That's definitely good for you. My soul feels healed when I eat that. Mm. Mm. And you probably need to go to the Chinese store or other like a butcher or something to get that because the pork has the skin, which is great. It has the collagen and stuff. I see mm. Costco has those pork belly without skin. <gasps> those are pork belly without soles. So mm. Mm, I I wouldn't use that. Yeah, but get it with the course, skin. If you really don't like skins, but those skins are really, it doesn't feel anything different. It has. It's great for the texture. I don't know about, uh, no, I, and like you said, it actually has collagen and all a bunch of good stuff in it, which you're going to miss out on. Look at this. Here's a perfect piece. Okay. Tender meat, juicy fat, fully soaked in seasoning. Mm. Fall apart in your mouth. Awesome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I think we're on. We're on. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to... No, no, let's do this. Let's do what I said earlier, right? Hey everybody, I'm Phil from Phil's World. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making an awesome pork belly dish and it starts now. Easy recipes while you're in COVID isolation. And this is not what I would call an easy recipe, but it's a really delicious recipe. So you should make it regardless it's easy or not. I'm gonna make it as easy as I can for you, okay? So today we're gonna make a dish called, let me get this right, Homshou Ro. I don't recommend you translate the name because it means red cooked meat and it doesn't sound good in English. So just call that Hom Shou Ro. Your friends will be like, ooh, and it will be so delicious because it's pork belly. That's right, pork belly. So I'm Canadian. I love bacon. That means I love everything made with pork belly. So do you. So make this recipe and let's do it now. Here's what you're going to need. Wow. Wow, that's so pro. I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'll shut up. No, that's fine. So here's what you're gonna need. Mm -hmm. A chunk of pork belly. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how big it is. It's about this big. There's my hand, there's the pork belly. It's big, I don't know, a few pounds. You can adjust everything as necessary. Can I keep going? Yeah. Great. You're gonna need some of these herbs and spices. I don't know some of these. We've got a uh, dried um, hawthorn, anise, star anise. You're probably familiar with that. Cinnamon. Uh, these are Sichuan peppercorns with no seeds or something like that. Mm -hmm. And these, we don't know what these are, but they smell they really good. They sell that without seeds, don't worry. Seeds oh, are poisonous. this comes without seeds because the seeds are poisonous. So if they sell it with seeds, call the police. <laughs> um, and this is an herb I actually don't know. You can probably get away with nutmeg. No. But, but no. ours will be much better because we have this. Ha ha ha. Nutmeg and, is quite different flavor. Okay, don't I use think. nutmeg. She doesn't think so. You can admit that. Why don't you try it and tell us, you guys out there, and if it doesn't taste good, then you can tell us, hey, that tastes awful with nutmeg. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> and I won't say it again. All right, you need green onion, uh, obviously some ginger. You need some cooking alcohol. Does it have to be this brand or this color? Probably not. Just have yep. some cooking alcohol to kill the pig stink. Right. Or substitute with other, not beer, but something not beer, like yeah. you could liquor. use. You could use a Strong cooking liquor. sherry. You could use uh, any not strong liquor, vodka, mm. maybe not sweet. Dry stuff. Something dry. Uh, you need sugar. Okay, we're using rock sugar. Um, we'll get into why. You don't need rock sugar, but you do need sugar. Oh, <laughs> this looks awful. Yes, the, don't. Ha you need yeah. good looking soy sauce, which we have. We don't have awful looking soy sauce. It's only good when I twist it like that. And dark soy for color. Okay, mm. salt color. All right, so that's about all you need. And obviously you need pots and pans and stuff, but that's goofy. So. Let's get started. So the pork belly, we're now going to chop it up, but the recipe actually started a while ago. And this is why I call it easy because you don't have to be with it. You got to drop the pork belly 
into some cold water. Oh, you're so dark. Oh, right. Put the pork belly in some cold water and let it soak. If there's any residual blood or whatnot, that's going to get that out. Okay. Now it's been soaking for a couple hours for us. So that's good enough. I'm going to just sort of drip it off. Oh yeah, here, this reminds me too. If you can get a skin on pork belly, that's what you want for this recipe. This is really a nice part of the texture. So try to get a skin on pork belly. If you can't get a skin on pork belly, too bad for you. You can still do the recipe though, don't panic. Okay, so we're gonna cut the pork belly into cubes now and I'm gonna hopefully keep all my fingers for this part of the recipe. Okay, so we're gonna do cubes about this size. Have a nice sharp kitchen knife because the pork belly's skin is pretty resilient. Uh, you will, Jem will tell me if my cubes are too big. I'm gonna cut them again, uh, like this way. So, mm -hmm. I like the first one. That's okay, nice. yeah, this one I know. I was thinking the same thing. A little bit too thick. Yeah. Good. So here we go. That's perfect. Look at that. That's what you want. About an inch and a bit. Mm -hmm. If it's too big, it's not easy to get that uh, fully soaked up with the flavor. Am I right? Flavor and easy to like a uh, uh, how should I say the bite is very like uh, not breakdown, but uh, you want that bite to melt in your mouth. Right. So it's a big. It takes a longer time. Right. You won't right. get that texture effect of the melt in your mouth fall apart pork that we're yeah, looking for. Yeah, it just for. takes a long, long time that yeah. I'm not patient for. Oh, the stewing. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. But if it's too small in the stew before it can reach the the stage, it might fall apart, and you don't find them. Then it's just not satisfying when you bite them because they're small bites. Right. All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. This guy's a little bit of an outlier. I might, I might have him. So okay. let's get these into cubes. I might do these one at a time next time. I thought this might work, but it's probably a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. oh, you can see the shoulder, maybe one finish. Still I think chunky. this is the perfect yeah, size right here. Something like that. Something yes. like that. So you're not going to cut it this way ever, but this is about a nice size. This is going to make yeah. a nice little bite. These ones are a little bit clunky, but it's, you know, I'm not a, I'm not getting paid for this. So. <laughs> Ideally, you got something we call huaro, five flour meat, which is awful in translation. Basically, it means it has, sorry, oh. it has uh, the lean fat, lean fat, lean fat, like layered. That is the best for this. Mmm. Nice. Moving right along. One at a time. So I can do a better job. Mm -hmm. This one's all fat. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> if it survives. This was my chunky piece. I'm wondering if I should do that once. What do you sure. think? Might as well, right? Break it down a bit. Perf. Okay. There we go. Okay. Nice. So now we're going to head over to the pot. Actually, I'll bring the pot over here. Fill it up with the meat, and then we're gonna okay. I'm gonna put this in the pot like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna cover it up with nice, cold, clean water. I'm gonna give my hands a little wash. So now we just take our cut pork and we're gonna fill that up to just over the level of the meat with cold water, okay? We're gonna bring it to a boil, but it's really important that it comes to a boil, not that you put boiling water in it. Oh, this is the perfect amount. That's good. Good. Put that on the heat. <laughs> oh. Nice, sometimes this burner gives us trouble. Today we were lucky. And no lid, I'm guessing, right? Because we don't wanna trap the stink of the piggy pig pig in the potty pot pot. Perfect. Okay, so we're done for a while. We'll be back when this hits a boil.
No, we got、oh. to cut some ginger、oh. and.、Uh, right, well, it gets warm. That's right. What she said is right. So now I got to clean my cutting board, or as I prefer, because it's a cooking show, change the cutting board. Here, here, I'll serve you. Oh, perfect. I was like, where did it go? So deep, hiding. I'll give the knife a nice little clean. And this is a cooking show. Right now, I don't have to wait or clean my cutting board. I just had to clean my knife because it's not a well-funded cooking show. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the first piece of ginger because it's dryish. Okay, we need slices. I don't think I need super thin slices here. Hold up. Okay. Uh, no. Just some、uh, no thin slice. Yeah,、like、perfect, perfect. I'm gonna need some for now and some for later, so I'm gonna cut it all now. It doesn't have to be super thin. You can put chunks or stuff. Just roughly cut it off. That's good enough, you know. Right on. You want me to cut this whole chunk, or do we need all of that? Is that enough、uh, there? Should be. Might as well get. Oh, okay, my onions want to use up. And、ah, green onion. Is that all? Okay.、Mm, yeah, let's start with the back. Actually, get rid of the butt or the roots, as they were.、Mm -hmm. Perfect. Goodbye, roots. And this is a good length. These are.、Uh, that's kind of our length, target length. Yeah. Perfect. Like something like.、Uh, so these、hair? are pretty old and a little bit dry. So try to have fresher ones if you can. So we need. Because it's a stew. It doesn't matter of the size. When it's too small, it's really hard to fish them out. Yeah, we gotta fish these out. Yeah. And I'm breaking that into two piles, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Change that. Okay.、Good. So these ones are gonna go over to our boiling pot now. With, I think, with these、yeah. guys. Am I right? No. Th wrong. Wrong. <laughs> hard so no. So in here. Right. Okay, so sprinkle them around because it looks more fun, but it doesn't really matter. It's water; it's going to move all around. That's、mm -hmm. it. So you leave those there like that. Yeah. So we're we're warming up here. You can see some of the、uh, oil and stuff is coming out of the pork. So this step, the blanching, is、um, to get the sort of nasty stuff, the stuff we don't desire, the stuff that's not as flavorful and the aroma is not nice, out of the meat. That's what this step is for. And that is also why we start with. It's really important to start with cold water, and not hot water. If you hit it with boiling hot water or something, you'll sear all that stuff that we want out in. So this is one of our steps to get some stuff out. And the next step, we're going to get some oil out. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we've got the meat at a nice boil now.、Uh, slowly came up, and just give a little splash of alcohol in there as well. Whoops, it easy. That was probably a little excessive, but it doesn't matter. Just get some in there. See the boiling slowed down a bit.、Uh, we'll just leave it in there until it comes back up to a nice rolling boil, and then we will get these little piggies out of here. Okay, so that's good enough. So when I grab them, I'm not going to skim this off, but I am going to try not to get it on the pieces I'm removing.、Right. So I'm going to put them、uh, on this plate to let them dry for a bit. Yeah.、Um, they don't have to be bone dry, but I don't want to. Our next Uh, phase is going to be to render some grease,、mm -hmm. some grease out of these. So I do not want to go to a, a hot pan so wet. So we're just going to grab these one by one. You don't have to use obviously chopsticks. Tongs will work well for this step as well. Okay, but if you're good with chopsticks, you know one less thing you need kicking around in your kitchen because <laughs> these are basically tongs. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about when I talk about the piggy smell or that that、uh, smell, you can smell this this steam. You'll actually smell that a little bit. Although the obviously the ginger and the green onion are working hard and the alcohol to get rid of it, but maybe before you splash all that stuff in, give it a little smell. You'll know what I mean. And that does make it into the flavor. I really didn't understand what the heck Jim was talking about when she said、um, pig smell or other ways she described that, which were not.、Uh, YouTubeable, so、um, <laughs> but I got used. But、uh, I start to detect that when I pay attention to the raw meat aroma, especially in the、uh, early phase of getting rid of it.
And now when I go to restaurants, I can taste that. I can taste when a Western restaurant uh, just does that the quick way, which is, by the way, this step is optional. If you don't feel like you need to blanch your meat to get rid of that particular aroma, um, you don't need to do this. But uh, I strongly recommend it. It, uh, it really helps. Hey, yo, this is one of my big pieces and it's even hard to pick up. Heavy. Woo! All right, we're almost done. One at a time, one at a time. I am pulling these guys out one at a time. This is uh, Making Pork Belly the Musical, which is going to be on our street, not Broadway. <laughs> Broadway is closed right now. During these COVID times, there is no Broadway. I wonder how those actors are doing with no income. I wonder if they get paid per show if they're on a contract. Hmm. Probably on a contract. I can't imagine at the end of the show they line up for a big wad of cash. You never know, though. It's Broadway. <laughs> they say the neon lights are bright on Broadway. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, last, what, two pieces? Mm-hmm. Uh, zigzag, zigzag, tap, tap. Oh, last minute drop. I'm just getting a little bit nervous at the end. Uh -huh. For some reason, oh, awesome. Okay. okay, so now I got a big old plate of pork belly, and we're gonna bring that over to the stove. So, uh, the next phase, I gotta render out some grease. So, same thing, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna dump these in unless she tells me to. I'm going to turn on, I don't know what I'm doing really mm. here. So I'm going to turn that on low because this is just a regular wok. Right. So we're using a wok. You don't need, again, you do not need to use a wok. You can use a frying pan with a knife, as long as it's got a good edge on it, which most frying pans do. You're just going to be, we're going to need enough space to cover the pork belly chunks uh, with water. Okay. So I'm going to toss these in here lovingly. Not too, not too exuberantly though, because they will bounce. Did mm -hmm. you want that a bit higher? Medium low, maybe. Medium low, so yeah. So basically too high, it will stick before the fat comes out. Right. Too low, it's just, I'm not patient enough. <laughs> right. So I put it in a speed that it comes out, but not too slow. So this step was just, is just to get rid of fat. Yeah, we're gonna get the grease level, the grease, otherwise the meat was gonna be too greasy. Mm. So we're going to get... The ultimate for those stewing and this rendering is that when you actually eat that, that even the fat is not as bad as it looks. Right. And it won't be. It will be super delicious. You will taste that in a moment, okay? I'm starting to hear some little sizzling sounds, which I love. Tap, tap, tap. Get rid of your water. Okay, in we go. In we go. Oh, I'm whistling. That probably won't sound good. I'll try and stop it. I got a bad habit of whistling a lot, which is not a bad habit in my opinion. I love whistling. It's pleasant and joyous. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the plate. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, my voice will still be with you. That might sound spooky though. Right? Ooh, spooky. <laughs> I keep it in the dirty zone because I didn't use salt. Mm -hmm. Turning the Turn it up. And I'm just going to randomly jiggle these just for fun. There's no reason to do this. It's just fun. It's good. Make them all stuff. Right? Everybody loves to just do random stuff when they're cooking them. So you got to have some reason to jiggle or... Oh yeah, here comes that sizzling sound. <clears throat> You can dance while you wait. Although this isn't really a dance. Jiggle the meat while you jiggle your meat. You know, you gotta have fun. Keep your uh, head straight in this weird time where you're isolated and 
Got to treat your neighbors like they got the plague. And walk away from them on the street. Cross the street and stuff. <gasps> Be glad when we're back to normal. Mm. What are you smelling? Uh, smells like pork belly. Yep. Yeah. Good. Minus the uh, like the, it it doesn't have that uh, aroma, you know. That's what I'm checking. See how that worked. Should I be flipping these or just take, be patient? I think it's got a bit of oil yeah, rendering flip. now. Yeah. Start and flip. I got to get the outside guys to the inside too eventually. Yeah. Is the bubbling? So we're not looking to put a deep sear on these, are we? The purpose of this is not sear. It's just to get rid of the enough oil. Fat. It's to but render. You won't it's, get. You won't get all the fat out. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to get it to a level where we're reducing it so that we don't have a heart attack. Which I should have mentioned about the hawthorn. If you remember the dried hawthorn, which will eventually be coming back. That is actually pretty good for um, helping your body manage fat. Which makes sense in this dish a lot. Okay, so if you're one of those fat phobic people, you might not like this dish, but uh, we don't have much in common. <laughs> so, probably you're not even at this point in the video. <laughs> so, me and the people who are still left can just collectively laugh at you. In a nice way. In a nice way? Laugh at you? Yeah, for not eating something so delicious because you're worried about fat. And this little hot or anything. Cannot put too much because this is very really tart. Very tart. tart. So just a little bit. You don't want the flavor, but you want the benefit. And the acid in it helps break down the protein and the. Brings stuff. you that mouth feel of melt in your mouth a little bit. Yeah. Is that right? Accelerating the process. Mm, nice. I like right. anything that accelerates. Right. It's a catalyst to uh, tender melt in your mouth deliciousness. Yeah. Everybody flip around. Everybody flip around. Ayo! No. That's the sound of pork shooting. I make another pork belly dish called Megan Tsai. I don't know the English name. It's basically a veggie. It's a veggie name. And uh, that one is violent. That um, one is Mei Tsai Kou Rou. Mei Oh my gosh. You got to hold the lid down or the pork belly will jump out and catch your whole kitchen on fire because you got to deep fry it. Ooh, that one's fun. We'll do that one for you sometime. It is not easy, but it is worth it. Big time. Okay. That is super delicious. This is just... No, this is super delicious. That is super mega delicious. <laughs> super mega. That one only filled up because it's too much work. This is I'm going to turn down a bit. It's yes, starting yes. to uh, cook instead of render. Yes. So I'm coming back down to medium low. We got a little bit impatient. Uh, you know, if you've got your time, if you're isolated and you've got time, just take your time with this step. There's no rush. We're only rushing because we're videoing it. We got to keep it timely. It Look at all that, that oil. Yeah, this is getting lots. There's lots. And that there. fat is really good. We can put that aside uh, yep. when we cook veggies. Just use that to cook veggies. Yep. And suddenly, the vegetarian. Oh, I don't think you can call that vegetarian. You cannot. The veggie dishes would taste much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, take a break. Yes. All right, so we've got the, uh, we've got plenty of oil has rendered out of this pork belly. So we're now going to get it out of the pot and get it onto the plate. I'm going to move my handle so I don't get it all covered in oil. Fire the fire. The heat is off. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't have to have, you don't want high heat for this step. You want a nice, take it easy. We're not trying to sear this. We're just trying to get some of the oil to drop out. I'm going to wait for that one. Let him drop a bit more. He looks a little bit chunky monkey. And be sure to put on a dry plate. This place you want everything dry. Yeah, we've... Because of what's coming up. Yes. Yeah. This, the last bits of water got out during this phase. Which you may have heard when it went crackle, crackle, pop. Scare the heck out of both of us. <laughs> Because when that pop hits you in the face, it's unpleasant. <coughs> Yo. 
Okay. I just like to give him a nice tap so I don't end up with a plate, all the oil on the plate, because this oil is, even the one we're not using, will be very useful for us for cooking. We'll save the extra. Grabbing them out, grabbing them out. Grab, 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 grab. Ayo, oh, don't drop them. You might splash yourself. Ayo, oh, bouncing, bouncing. That's why I wear an apron when I cook. And also, shouldn't tell you this, but also when I eat often, because <laughs> I am pretty sloppy. And I'm really good at getting myself covered in whatever it is I'm eating or working with. So... That's why I have an apron. It should say I'm the slob, but it actually says I'm the boss. Isn't that nice? Somebody loves me. All right, so now I'm going to mm -hmm. get rid of the extra oil. I'm just gonna pour it off into this here little okay. jug we got, but I gotta keep some. So I'm not pouring at all. I think you can pour almost all of them because it's so well coated. Okay. So now okay. I got this cloth just cloth. to get make sure I don't have a smoky situation coming up here. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Next, we're going to dissolve some rock sugar. So heat on. Now I'm a little bit fuzzy. Does the heat go on now or yeah. after? Because it takes a while. Medium? Mm, yeah, start with a medium low. Medium when you get low. impatient, so we raise the heat. Oh, yo. Okay, I'm not impatient. So And then put all of this one because yes. there's not much. So I'm going to do it so you guys can see, but... Put your rock sugar or your sugar. We got a bit of both because the rock sugar got a little bit powdery. Then we're going to add a couple new ones. A handful. Just a handful. So I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. A little uh, bit more? Two thirds of that. Okay. Good. So that much. Here is the thing. Always stir gentle. This coating, this the sugar is for coating and flavors and stuff. But if it's not sweet enough later on, we can always add more. But sugar doesn't reduce well. You, unless won't. you dump the juice, <laughs> otherwise it won't reduce. Right. Unlike vinegar, which can be cooked off if right. you put too much. So just, if not sure, just put a little bit to start. And we're just going to let that heat up and melt into the oil. Yes. And get the um, alcohol handy so that uh, when it's all coated about the right, Zap in the alcohol, put on the lid. Right on, okay. Then we get some boiling water. So just so I know what's going on, whoopsie daisies, that was scary. This We're, is a Phil's first time, so he's yeah, doing a great job. I'm just and learning. I'm coaching. Yeah, she's coaching and showing you how this can be done by yeah. anyone. Here's that, uh, I should have be quick. Oh, I don't think it matters. I was going to ask, like, the red is going to come from the sugar actually caramelizing. Is that right? Uh, yes and no. It, the, the red from the sugar looks different than the color from the soy, soy sauce. sauce. Okay. This sugar in red gives that, that radiance uh, uh, red color. Sure. Again, like a... if you think that you don't like this spot, you just want to put all the ingredients together, it also works. Right. It's just in the look, it's not as pretty right a little detail things that can be you know not so important i think i can say this because we're a tea channel caramelized sugar aged shampooar soy sauce shampooar oh something like that <laughs> yes get that oh you uh, i don't want to use that yet break them faster i think oh you want to break them why not oh i want to speed things up no 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 i think we should just let that melt I'm gonna break it because I'm, I'm, I'm. You're the good kid. I'm advised to do as I'm told. You don't, you don't have to. I was just a. Because it takes a while. And you want them to have it evenly? It's okay. It's melting. I think. Okay. So impatient. Oh my goodness. She's done this before, so she knows what she can get away with. I'm, <laughs> I like to take it easy. Yeah and see how things go. So it's melting and glomming up on my spatula and whatnot, so that's yeah, kind of why I didn't want to do that. it's getting a little bit smoky, so we're gonna lower the heat. Oh, really? Okay. Don't worry, it will melt, just to put that oh, in. Oh, okay. Mm. 
anything stuck on your spatula or anything, just put that in the hot wall, everything falls apart. A little lower, it's still smoky, or just let that and be lower. now? It's fully low. The initial part is what's long, that's why I put that higher and just be impatient and let it turn. So you need that. Breaking up nicely here. I'm kind of speeding it up. It's actually pretty soft. It's not like rocky anymore. It's more it's like... It's so fun playing with it. Uh, yes, it's really neat. And we've got some nice glaze from the pork also mm -hmm. mixed in here. That's called flavor. Start coating the pork. Yeah. So just dump it all. Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah. So in it you goes. Have some sizzle, but you know, without water, water is the key thing you cannot have there. The so wok temperature up to medium. Medium. Yeah. Perfect. Give it a little coating. Make sure everybody's coated. So when we're coating, we probably want to like flip everybody over mm -hmm. and get everybody a little bit coated. You see how the color works on the pork? Mm -hmm. You could cook that a little bit more to give that even darker color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that. And also it, it's a little bit sticky. It didn't quite melt. Yeah, once the temperature goes up, because the pork is cold. Right, right. Low. I usually crank up the temperature and put this in. I feel like after this video, everybody feel like this is such a complicated dish. It's not complicated, it's just need some, you know, mm -hmm. thinking. Like when cooking. Right. Like brewing, it's not hard. It's just a, at some point you need a little bit of thinking. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we call complicated. Okay. <laughs> but it's still worth it. It's pork belly. Higher temperature. Going to medium high. Okay. Shall I scrape this? Hold it. Hold it. Oh. When I put the uh, alcohol in, you can put okay. the lid in. Okay. Okay. Ta da! Ta da! Okay. Now let's get some boiling water. Right on. Enough to go over the top of the meat. Oh. That wasn't a very successful coating with the sugar, but it's okay with some practice. We'll get better. The key is like balance the safety and coating. You don't want that to too hot, especially if you're trying this for the first time, but to make sure it's a reddish brown color and ideally all break down. But you have to work a little bit in the early stage. Otherwise it's take a long time. The reason I don't want it to be rock and broke down was because it takes a uh, much longer. Right. Yeah. So throw this in? Yeah. With the lid still on? No, the lid off. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay. We'll get everybody underwater. Yeah. Put and slightly less water than this, just to barely cover the the pork belly is okay. This is slightly too much. Oh. So to cover that. So don't is, quite cover the pork belly. Don't fully cover, just to make them about right. the same level. Of uh. course, the shape of the wok you have to consider. If it's in this kind of shape, you might put a little bit less because of the shape. If it's flat with a little edge, you can cover it. The amount of water mm. depends on the shape of the wok or the pot. Okay. Right? Just uh, improvise, improvise. So we put too much. We were gonna improvise. Coloring. So a little bit of dark soy. Yeah. Uh, just a bit, right? A little bit more. A bit more. Good. 
I'm going to go easy at first because once it's in there, yes. I can't take it out. Soy? Yes. There's always a chance to put more. So start with less. A bit more? Yeah, one more. Yes. Good. One more shot? Maybe one more shot. Okay. Don't look at that soy jar, it's really ugly. And then we put in our seasoning and our veggies. Yes. And it goes in like this. Yes. And give it a stir, make sure all those seasonings are in the wall. Mm -hmm. And get the everybody mixed up here. Okay. Good. Perfect. And now just let it boil. And stew. Mm -hmm. Once it's fully boiled, turn that to low, medium low to low, and uh, let it simmer till the when you test drive one, the meat falls in the falls apart in the mouth. And we're gonna come back for more seasoning adjustment because the major seasoning is done. Nice. Live. Cool. So this is actually weeks after the part one, the previous parts we just <laughs> shoot because we lost some of the footages Ouch. and we just continue where we left over, where we left off. Mm -hmm. Back to our oily yeah. pan, which I shot while you were walking around, cool. kind of randomly, hopefully. So after we just fry the uh, pork bellies, now uh, basically dump out the oil. There's always some left in the pan, put in the rock sugar. Uh, how much? Maybe Ab this much. About that much. About that much. <laughs> if eventually I realize it's not sweet enough, I can always do a touch up at the last uh, final check. So now just stir fry the sugar. Yummy. What I want is this color. This give it a reddish, right. really radiant color that is good. And of course, if you realize that, oh, this is a little bit too much trouble and stuff, skip that, and that's totally fine. Okay, I don't know why I'm so anal and I just always want to do it. I don't know if you can see the pan is smoking a bit, so it is really hot to get that sugar to start to turn. Okay, and sometimes I would get scared and quit halfway where everything, I mean, we're just cooking at home, right? And sugar turns quite fast once it gets really Once hot. it starts to go, yeah. She has a seven blister story from pork belly, so that's what makes her a little bit timid sometimes. It's very reasonable. That's right. So, I That's think starting the to look sugar pretty good. is getting there, okay, getting there, okay. My, my approach is turn the heat to the lowest possible so that when the stuff goes in, it's, uh, you know, it cools pretty quick. So I like this, I like this, okay? I'm gonna dump. You want me to grab the lid so I'm right behind you with no, it? No, no. Oh, I'm you're, you're gonna, lid. you're gonna double hand it. Yeah, oh, this I'm is this is pro. I'm gonna step back a bit bowl, and get okay? a nice view of this. Oh, not too bad. Not too it's bad. It's not perfect, too bad. Perfect, perfect execution. Great, great. So this is what you want, uh, so that you know it's not very dangerous. Now flip it, get the color all around those pork bellies. Always have a hand of a lid. <laughs> We're warriors in the kitchen. Okay, come back. <laughs> you see this red color, like soil, the, something different. You know, straight up soy sauce and the dark soy sauce doesn't give you that somehow, somehow. Anyway, now it's time to put on the um, heat a little bit higher and give it a little alcohol. Whichever cooking alcohol you choose this point, Alcohol splash. So this is the time it gets a little bit bad. I like a generous amount. Okay. 
I think it's good to say safe. that if, if people aren't familiar with cooking with this cooking alcohol in this style, it really doesn't give an alcohol flavor to the dish. Yeah. It's more to enhance the existing flavor and get rid of undesirable flavors. Yes. Kind of thing, right? Yes. So to avoid any any accident on the camera, I really lower the heat, and I think that's totally fine. You know, totally fine. Safety first. Safety first. Yes. No on-camera accidents. Yeah, I got seven blisters on one hand once, so that wasn't fun. That's why I'm so frightened about this stuff. So time to put all these uh, same mixed bag in. that you saw in the preview there. Yep. Going in now. I keep shooting your knees. You got some nice shots of your knees in this video. <laughs> cool. Cool. Keep them mixing. Now it's time to uh, dissolve that sugar. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you. Okay. While it dissolves, I'm gonna get the seasonings. Really simple. Okay. Really Angle simple. change. One, soy sauce. Two, dark soy sauce. How much to put? Random. About this much. Okay, so really what she's doing, because I watch, I try to emulate her sometimes, and she, you got to look at the amount of pork belly. It depends how much you have. So that's kind of your god. Yeah. And depends on the brand or even the, mm. the different types of the soy sauce right. you get. They have different soy levels. And so, different salty levels, right? Uh, yes, salty You want to watch the salt level of your dish. You don't yeah. want to overdo that. Yeah, this they vary mm. from brand to brand. So the best way, honestly, to know that is you really just have a little taste. Yep. You know, a little dab yep. of the raw soy. And, and go easy at first and yeah. add because it's yeah. hard to take out. Yes. Slash impossible. Yes. And. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. That. Okay, because I have other plans, because uh, later on I like to add a lot of this dish. It's a great base for adding a lot of veggie in it. So I know I will add something in the future. So I want to color a little bit more so that when I add stuff, I don't have to add it. So the dark soy, you just add a bit of that to get your color, right? Yeah, I like the color a little bit darker. And, uh, and you can go a bit heavier with the salt because there's going to be veggies to go with yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. Tomorrow we're going to put the potato there. This dish. Oh, it's so good with potatoes. Right now it's like 9.30. We're not going to eat this today. And... We're just gonna give that a semi-cook and we'll continue the video as we continue to cook tomorrow. So, okay. What I'm going to do next is just add enough water that barely cover the pork up. Pork. While this keep dissolving. This one seems to be thin. <laughs> Always add boiling water. Don't add cold water. Because that shock the protein. Here. There we go. Yeah. Let so that one, simmer. Yeah. Why is this not dissolved? Really stuck. Here. <laughs> There we go. And we'll let that finish dissolving and let it simmer. Mm -hmm. Now this is a, a full boil. What I'm, if you are going to finish this dish, uh, dish just to turn it uh, to medium low till the water is almost gone. 40 minutes to an hour. But because I'm not eating that uh, today and I want to get to bed. So I'm just going to, once it's boiled, 
fully boiled, I'm just gonna turn it off. And tomorrow we are going to turn it back on and uh, simmer that. And so really flexible, right? You don't really have flexible. to. You don't and have to finish that. And this won't go bad. Don't worry. It won't go bad as long as you bring that to a full boil and keep the lid on, not to you know peek on it or anything. Yeah. Totally fine. Only a few hours. In yeah. The end, even right? in the summer, that's old times how we preserve stuff. In that's the right. Summer. Cool. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hear me properly. Oh, hear yes. me crop. Okay. All the mics are on. And really. <laughs> so pro. So oh, I... oh. Good. I stewed this for fifty to an hour fifty minutes to an hour. And the and I also added potato at the last uh, like 15 20 minutes i think it's pretty much done so i turn oh yeah sure looks good yeah so what am i going to do we're gonna do quality check okay we put potato i love because potato soaks up the flavor shouldn't be too hot not too hot mm -hmm. but very delicious mm. is it good yeah you can yeah. put other veggies too like a, veggies that doesn't have this very strong flavor but it really mm. absorbent like uh cauliflower Cauliflower, right? Yeah. Uh, the tra not traditional, but more typical in where we eat, we put bamboo. But I didn't mm. see those bamboos. But any bamboo, I guess, will do. Let me try. Let's get that. Oh, I missed it. It's really good. Really good, right? You can save this. Like you don't have to eat it all in one meal. <laughs> put. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, it never happens here. It's always an unbelievable amount gets eaten in one sitting. I have real trouble saving it. But you can save it. Good luck to you. If That's you why I'm going to save it now before I serve it. Mm. Otherwise, there's no. I'm going to save some for later. And I can chop that into little pieces. And mix it with other, other stuff as a base. And put that over rice. It's very good. I mm -hmm. love to save. And those oils. Okay. See all that juice down there. You probably don't like this oil, but you can just. Uh, I'm gonna skim it, put that aside, save for any um, veggie stir fries. It's gold. 